What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and I love, I love, I love Disney movies. So I figured it'd be kind of fun to do a little bit of UI design work inside of Figma featuring some of my favorite Disney characters. So with that being said, Hakuna Matata to infinity and beyond. All right, let's dive right in. I have Figma open, I have rulers on, I have an artboard that just has a few items here. Just a logo, some icons, and some typography. Um, and then on my desktop, I have a couple assets to work with. Just some Disney characters that have been cut out into PNG format, some textures that might match our characters, and then I have a Disney logo, which I've already implemented. So let's bring one of our characters out onto our artboard and start working with it. We could do something really, really clean like this, like literally just white uh, background and maybe adding the texture in behind our character. But I think it would be fun to kind of encapsulate the character in some sort of card. So why don't we, with our kind of guides and rulers out, why don't we drag a card down here? And I'm thinking it could be fun just to do something a little bit different, right? So why don't we, um, bring this card down. I think this card's gonna end up going behind our character, but for now, let's do a little bit of work here. I'm gonna take an ellipse, and I'm gonna drag an ellipse up, and I'm gonna center that like so. I'm gonna grab both of these, and I'm gonna go ahead and then just unionize them. That way I have one shape. I can mess with the shape. Now you do have to be careful because it does start stretching the top uh, kind of shape of my circle there. If we wanna just kind of shrink it down a little bit while keeping that same arc, we're just gonna pull the bottom in like that. So we could do something like that, I, I like it. It's kind of like a little background plate, kind of fun. And then why don't we take that unionized shape and fill it with a nice color. So we have solid out here. Moana's all about uh, like the ocean, so let's pick like a really nice ocean blue. I think that's kind of cool, just kind of pops. And then maybe what we'll do is even add a little bit of like a blurred image so it looks like a shadow behind our character. So why don't we do this? I'm going to uh, Command or Control C and V to paste another version on top. And why don't we fill this one with an image and let's go out and hunt a texture that we feel would work for our Moana character. Uh, I think we had one that was like kind of this Hawaiian kind of floral texture. So why don't we drag that in, drop it there we get this fun kind of texture and let's just bring the opacity of that down so you can see right through to the color behind it. That's kind of fun, kind of cool. Um, all right, so let's grab both of these and just move these down and make sure they're lined up on the bottom. Everything's looking good. Now I think the last thing we wanna do is we're just gonna call this one texture in our layers panel. We'll call this shape. And then let's do one more and we'll have this one be the shadow, something like that, okay? So to do our shadow, um, I'm keeping that same color, that blue color, and I'm gonna add an effect, um, and I'm gonna choose layer blur, and let's go in and just change our blur, make it a lot more intense, and then we can mess with the shape, because we don't really want it to blur out to the sides, we really just kinda want it to blur up, like it's a glow, and then, Let's blur it a little bit more even, and then let's take the opacity of this layer way down. So we just get a little bit, just a tiny bit of glow coming from behind our character right here, which I think looks kind of cool. So that's fun. So we have Moana, um, and then maybe we need to, yeah, this whole thing. So as we would slide, the name would leave as well. So um, how about select, character, something like that. Um, cool, select character. So, all right, uh, let's group this whole thing together and we'll call this the character. And then we, let's group this whole section up here at the top and just call this top nav. We can move that to the very top and lock it. We won't be messing with that. Um, and then we have, uh, whew, yeah, we have like the title information here. So that's looking pretty good. Um, what we can do is group both of those together and call that 
Moana. And then what we wanna do is create uh, a few more characters that we could group all together into a drag or scrollable kind of you know, horizontal row so we can kind of scroll in between them. So I'm gonna fast forward, I'll see you on the other side, I'm gonna create a few new characters. Okay, and we're back. We have our four characters created, just our fun little character kind of plaques. And I'm gonna grab all of them and just tidy up the spacing in between. And I'm just gonna come in and rename each one. So we have Moana here, we have Mike there, we have Olaf, and we have Woody. Now, I'm gonna group all four of them together and this is gonna be our list of characters and I'm gonna drag it back onto the artboard and here's another good reason to use guides because now I have the whole thing grouped together and I can see exactly where the plaque kind of lines up and locks into that guide. So that's pretty nice. Now what we're gonna do is we wanna create a draggable kind of prototype in between characters. So what we can do is we can call this uh, artboard number one and drag out another version and I think one thing we wanna do is we want um, a little bit of movement here. So I'm gonna shrink down Mike on this one and then move Moana back into place. Then I'm gonna move Moana, shrink her down and move Mike into place. So we're gonna do some smart animating and when the animation happens, the character will actually move in a parallax way um, you know, it, a little bit differently than its background. So I'll have a little bit of fun motion that's going on there. Um, so we have number two. Let's make sure we look at number two really quickly and move Olaf down. He's pretty cute sitting in there. And let's move Mike back into position. Again, we're gonna do artboard number three here. able to drag back and forth between all of these um, different screens. Um, so let's do that. Um, let's grab the first one and I'm just going to zoom out a little bit with such a wide draggable area. I'm going to give ourselves just a little space to work here. I'm going to head over to my prototype tab in Figma and then I'm going to grab this entire draggable area. Let's again give us our, a little bit more space even and we'll be able to drag over on the whole thing and we'll say on drag, we wanna to navigate to number two, we wanna smart animate. Let's do ease in and ease out at 300 milliseconds, okay? So let's do the same thing here, giving ourselves way more space to work. Grab this and drag it over. We should get a similar thing. On drag, navigate to three, smart animate, same interaction. Let's do the next one, boom, like that, on drag and everything's the same. Now what's really cool is we can, we can go back the other way. So let's drag the other way on drag and we can also drag the other way as well. It's gonna track the motion on drag and one more to go back on drag. Everything should be pretty good. Why don't we bring up our prototype and see what this looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and check out our prototype now. We have Moana who's appeared right here. All the stuff is there. We grab and start to drag. Moana moves down, a little bit of a parallax effect, moving at a different speed from her background. And we see Mike Wazowski starting to move in. Kind of a cool interaction. Once we're here, we can actually head back because Figma's really good at doing our prototypes in either direction, it's tracking the motion. So now we can just skip through, prototype through each one of our different pieces. And from here, we'd be able to do a bunch of other fun stuff, but I think that's a pretty fun interaction for the day. Well, that's it. That's our Disney character user interface inside of Figma all done. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and design tutorials just like this one. So make sure you stick around by hitting that subscribe button and that little bell notification icon so you know when another one like this comes out. If you have any questions or you want to share with me who your favorite Disney character is, do that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. I hope you're making amazing things. And I hope that you live happily ever after. I'll see you in the next one.